Hey everyone, this is Next Archer, and this is a Blade HQ unboxing. Very fast shipping, only took three days, and that's actually including the day I ordered it on. So, extremely fast um, shipping, and let's jump into this box. I think the best way will be just to cut this right here, and open it up. Okay. So let's see if we can find it. Feel it right here. It's a turtle. Always wanted a turtle. Okay, that's not actually what it is. I actually opened this up a couple days ago, um, and I actually had filmed it, but was feeling very bad. I actually had the flu. So, not going to show that video. But I thought I'd make a video of what I had bought, as well as talk about the things. Um, I was a little less um, optimistic um, on that day because I was feeling terrible. So, the first item is a Kershaw. Also, I want to talk about Blade HQ for a minute. It did only take three days. Um, I mean, I ordered it at like... I think it was like 2 in the afternoon and got it um, within 3 days, which is amazing. They shipped it that day. I'm flabbergasted with that, especially since with one of my knives, I had actually called them, asked them to switch it to the Plain Edge model, which I didn't even know they had until I had looked a second time on their website. It's a great customer service. De eh, definitely recommend Blade HQ. So this first knife is Fixed Blade Hunter 3 inch. That doesn't explain a lot, but made in the USA. It is The Fixed Blade Kershaw Skyline. Neat little knife. I actually got it mostly as an investment. I believe um, Blade HQ still has them in stock. They only cost $29.95. Uh, $29 Very nice price. Looks like removable G10 scales. Um, one complaint I do have about it, leather sheath looks great, especially with the black, but retention wise. I mean, when I first got this, um, I could not pull it out of its sheath. I, I actually struggled, and it tends to want to stab actually into the leather. Um, you have to be careful about that, so I'm going to put it in in a minute. It wants to stab into the sides. So, great knife, um, especially for $30 from Blade HQ. Next knife, um, I believe they only had one in stock. That's the Emerson Hardware Knife. This is EK3100 Endeavor. So it is plastic handled. There we go. 3.5 inch blade. Emerson hardware knives. This is actually made in Seki City, Japan. As you can see, it is a riveted construction, so it can't be adjusted. It does have slight blade play. No up and down blade play though. Very nice 3.5 inch blade, as I said already. Um, it has a AUS 6 blade, or AUS 6, however you want to say it. Can have right hand or left hand carry. Tip up only. It's a decent knife. Um, not that great for its price. I mean, I'm happy about it, but probably will end up selling it in the future.
very soon, honestly. Um, as actually on eBay, they're selling pretty expensive. So I think about $90 I've seen them sell for. So I can get a nice knife for 90 Anyways, um, that's kind of my thoughts behind buying tons of, or most of my knives is does it have resale potential and that's actually one of the reasons that I check Blade HQ is because they do buy knives and sell them at great prices a lot of discontinued knives and there are some times where there is resale potential I can't speak today for some reason but there you go That's the hand great. If it was just G10, adjustable pivot, and a little better blade steel. It'd be a pretty nice knife. Well, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Definitely recommend Blade HQ. Uh, I'll be shopping from them. A lot. Yeah. Well, yeah. Said bye, so I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.